you're not in Le Mépris. Le we'll just get that straight before we start That's here. That's for sure. Why, why aren't you in Le Mépris? I guess that Jean-Luc Godard really wanted to do really badly a film with the Brigitte Bardot. And I can understand that. <laughs> but uh, he was not very sure if he wanted to do it in the beginning. And uh, the producer was Carlo Ponti and Georges de Beauregard, because they were associated. And so uh, they say, maybe we should try Monica Vitti. You know. uh, so I went with Jean-Luc to Rome and uh, to the office of Carlo Ponti, and uh, Monica Vitti was very late, about more than one hour, you know. And uh, when she arrived, you know, she kind of walked like this, and then she stood, looked by the window, you know, like she was not interested at all. And uh, Jean-Luc looked at me, I looked at Jean-Luc, and then I said, mm -mm. And so he was right. The first idea he had was Brigitte Bardot. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, she's playing Camille, yeah. well, and she Picoline. And Bri uh, Bardot was already the one of the most famous women in the world. Oh, yes, yeah, she was. She was the most beautiful and most famous woman in, in the world at that time, yes. And uh, uh, you weren't bad, w weren't bad yourself, if I may say, <laughs> at the time. <laughs> I was a little bit younger. <laughs> I <I'm> still am. <laughs> How did you feel? How did you feel about your husband having to f to, to to film Brigitte Bardot uh, naked? There's a oh scene. Oh, I was start. not there. You oh know, you no, no, left no, him no, alone. no, 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 no. <laughs> I was yeah. not there. There is some. There is something I assume of your relationship with with John Godard in in Le Mépris. Yes, because uh, you know, uh, just for fun, we would used to you know to say he would used to when I was a little bit angry, I would say you know very bad words, you know, like. Shit, you know, you know, no. in French, <laughs> in French, <laughs> merde, merde, voilà, voilà. But, but not, you know, uh, aggressive one, you know, just like, nah, nah, nah. and so he, he made us say that too in the bathroom, and uh, <laughs> you will see that in the film <laughs> if you haven't seen it before. <laughs> Were you? Did you? Did you? I mean, th this film is is set uh, what, in, in Chinachita, I think, some of it, and uh, and yeah. then in Capri. Yeah. Did you go to the the set? I mean, it's quite nice to go to Capri. No, no, no. I was not allowed to come on the set, and anyway, I just went there once, and uh, we went to a kind of uh, dancing room, and there was this Italian guy who wanted to dance with me, and I was always, uh, you know, why not dance with him? So I danced with the Ita Italian very nicely, you know, uh, just uh, like, like uh, for fun. And Jean-Luc, he got so angry, you know, he, he, he slapped me on the face. <laughs> and I, I didn't cry because I thought, I really meant he was in love with me, you know, because he was jealous of uh, this, this poor guy, I mean, you know. Good, good, you showed them. Uh, where where can we obviously we're doing a the, the whole retrospective of, of, of Godard he, here at uh, BFI. Where d where did, did Jean Luc talk about Le Mépris? It, it became one of his most famous films and one that was a, a, a film that he was known for. D where did it stand for hi for him in, in in all the work? Because you, you then went on to do Bon Départ with him and many many more. But d d where was Le Mépris for him? He was so quick to go on to other films. D d did it have a special uh, place? Well, I, I think it was a little bit, uh, because I don't think the film was a big su success, you know, and I, uh, very, and he was very, I, 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 I think he was heard about that, you know. And also, it, uh, the, the, the right hand of Carlo Ponti in, in Paris saw the film, you know, and before it came out, and he, he said, you have to recut this, and so and so on. And Jean-Luc got so mad, you know, and he kind of pushed him a little bit, and the guy, he fell down the stairs, you know, and he broke his leg. <laughs> and that was really terrible. I was there that night, and he said, did you see something? I said, no, I didn't see <laughs> It's not very good <laughs> to say that, but of course I was defending my husband. Maybe he pushed him a little bit, you know, but in a bad way, but... 
He, he didn't want it to hurt him, really, you know. Of course not. Of but course. he went to court and all that, but he didn't get uh, punished. So. Well, if there, there's a film worth breaking someone's leg for, uh, it is probably probably Le Mépris. Um, it is an extraordinary film which you're uh, about to see with that amazing beginning and the amazing uh, Bardot naked at the beginning. I think Jean-Luc didn't want to do that uh, initially, the first scene that we see with Bardot. No, um, but of course the distributor said you have to do a, a film a little sexy with Brigitte Bardot, you know. Uh, if not, uh, nobody's going to go and see it. And, and so he made this scene where she's on the bed, you know, and, and she said, you like my, you know, my, my eyes? <laughs> you say the rest. It starts lower. You say yeah. the rest. Mes fesses. Mes teint. Mes yeux. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's yeah. an extraordinary opening, um, which I'm jealous you're about to see again. The, the, the great openings. And, and Jean-Luc has a, a, a way of making it uh, cinema, about film, uh, and about, yeah. the, about watching uh, as well, which you're about to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, enjoy Le Mépris. Anna will be back with Vivre Sa Vie a bit later, if you can stay that late. We'll, all, we'll be here, won't we? Excellent. Of uh, course. Yes. Have it, we're not going anywhere. No. <laughs> We've got nowhere to go. We're uh, stuck. We're stuck. Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Jean-Luc Godard's the, the, the muse of the Nouvelle Vague, Anna Karina. <laughs> <laughs> 